I have a story. You ready? It's called, I Learned Something. The story begins on me entering the deaf school, which was awkward because all eyes were on me, the tall, new, thin kid on the block. I brushed it off, ignoring their stares. And then three weeks later, my classmates discovered my parents were deaf, which explained why I was so skilled at signing. Suddenly, I was extremely likable, became increasingly popular, and started mingling with more people. I was so thankful I had deaf parents. One day, a friend asked me to join the football team, but I had said no. I did not like football. Growing up, I was never into sports. My body type was not built for football, plus I was too afraid to try. But I did have a passion for reading books in my room all night and day. However, my father enjoyed playing football, and he played in high school. He became broad and strong and wanted me to be like him. Anyway, my friends and classmates began to hype me up to try out, where they nearly dragged me to the football tryouts. The coach gazed at all the participants coming in, stopped and looked at me, up and down, and then told me to run around the track. So I ran around the field, and when I was done, coach said to do some push-ups. Doing the push-ups, I adjusted my body to make it easier for me to do the workout. The coach and fellow pupils laughed, causing me to think there was no way I was going to make the team. But man, was I wrong. I made the team and said, dang, but all right. Next step was to practice every day in the rain, snow, running track, and doing push-ups. This caused the team to become increasingly optimistic and more fearless. One day, we were attempting tackling drills, which required, to wear us, required us to wear padded gear. My shoulder pads, padded pants, helmet, mouth guard were way too big on me. With having all the gear on me made practicing very difficult. The first game, I was a bench warmer. I watched the two teams go back and forth on the field, and then my team won. I applauded them for a job well done. The second game, I thought it was going to be like the first, but I assumed incorrectly. The fourth quarter, something happened to the quarterback, and he had to sit out. The coach was bewildered on what to do next. Coach looks at me and was said I was going to fill in. I refused at first, but within the support of my team, I got my helmet on and my uniform and joined the huddle. The first play, I threw the ball and got tackled, which wasn't so bad, and I thought I could handle it. The second time, I got tackled hard enough to where I hit the floor. I stood up, readjusted my clothes by pulling up and retying my pants, straightening my helmet. As we progressed down the field, we got a timeout, and the score was 25 to 28 with 10 yards left. I looked again at the score, read 28 to 25, which means we're losing, leaving us desperate for a touchdown. What do I do? I gazed over to coach to see what my next move was. Coach was signing, but I couldn't see the rain because of the raining weather. I could not understand. Captain comes to me and suggests me running the ball. I said, I can't do that. He insists on me running the ball, thinking that it's a perfect idea. My teammates are agreeing with him. I accepted the opportunity to run the play, even though I was doubtful this was a good decision. Getting ready, my teammates lined up with their fierce game faces on. I see hike and take off running. Everything felt like it was in slow motion, with the rain hitting my face, avoiding tackles left and right, seeing the field goal get closer and closer. Somebody tackles me from behind, and as I'm falling down, I outstretch my hand to place the ball just past the goal line. Touchdown! My team and I were jumping up and down with excitement, but then my pants fell and I had to rapidly put them back on. My teammates picked me up and put me on their shoulder celebrating. In the locker room, I'm sitting and finally realized 
I made my first touchdown. What a wild experience. That day I realized I can believe in myself and I can do anything. I have a lot of confidence now and I'm proud of how far I've become. If I can believe in myself, then hopefully others will follow suit. I'll never forget that. Thank you.